This is the Rolex Paul Newman Daytona. It's a chronograph and it was really dedicated to motorsport enthusiasts, hence its name, the Daytona. This is a massively desirable piece for a collector, largely due to its rarity. It's got the Paul Newman dial, which made in very limited numbers. This kind of really launched Rolex's sports watches into kind of a new league. They were, they'd done chronographs before, but they were largely focusing on divers watches. So this one introduced them to a new market, um, and initially it wasn't that popular. Rolex didn't see many sales, and as a result, they were limited to a fairly low production run. But in the 80s then, Paul Newman, having bought a few himself, was wearing them in films and on the front of magazines, etc. And from then, the popularity of them skyrocketed. What defines a Paul Newman dial is the Art Deco numerals. The dials are also accentuated by square indexes too. The dial also is of three colours, so you've got the black outer minute track with the white dial and then black again on the subsidiary dials. When I first saw the piece, my immediate reaction was that that's the hottest watch in the hottest market right now.